Hello. Hi. How are you guys? I am going to do a really fun braid today. So I've never actually done this braid in this style. So it should be cool. I'm excited for you guys to, to join me. This braid is all using elastic. So what this is going to be is this is going to be a 3D pull through braid. So this one's really fun, really cool. It's all elastic. So if you're, you know, nervous about braiding or anything like that, this is a good one to start with. It is a little bit tricky, but I promise you'll figure it out. And like I said, this is my first time doing it with this style. So I think it'll be pretty cool. So I'm doing it as a half up. We're gonna do two of them. So if you tune in a little bit later, that's okay. You can check out how to do the other side. So what we're gonna do first is I just got my first elastic in there. It's a pretty small section. I um, I do recommend if you're not super experienced braiding, you might wanna take your section and sort of like pull off the rest of the hair over to the side with a ponytail so that you know how much to grab. I don't typically do that, but I will for right now so that you guys can sort of get the picture on how I would do something like this if I was starting to braid. So one of the hardest parts when you're first starting is like making sure to keep your lines crisp. So doing something like this where you're pulling all of the hair off to the side and sort of like having it all completely out of the way is gonna help you. Okay, so now all of this hair right here is the hair that I'm going to be using for this part of the braid. Cute tree, thanks Em, woohoo. Okay, so this one actually is pretty fun. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your second section in an elastic as well. So you're gonna get your next section of hair. And remember to keep these sections like pretty small. You don't wanna go too tiny that, um, that there's like no hair in the section, but you definitely want like a couple sections on the head at least. So this will give you, using a, I'm using a section like about this big. I don't know if you guys can kind of, can kind of tell there. Once you get your second ponytail in, now we got our two ponytails. I'm gonna take my first ponytail and I'm gonna split the first one into three sections. Try to keep them pretty even. If they're a little uneven, it's okay, but try your best to keep them as even as you can. So then once you've split those into three, you're gonna take your second section, split it into two. And how I sort of hold and separate this is I'm only holding from the first section, the middle piece. So then the next section, I'm going to take my other hand, I'm gonna split it in two, and I'm gonna stick that middle piece right in the middle there. I'm gonna bring those other pieces forward. And now I'm making my next section with those pieces. And I'm just gonna let that other hair sort of flop to the side there. This is where if you have your hair sort of out of the way, it's even easier as you go to make your next section because you know exactly what hair to pull. Welcome on, if you guys are just joining me. I'm doing a really cool braid. I'm doing, oh, this is interesting. I've never seen this before. Look at, I don't know if you guys can actually see. This elastic is like, oh, there you go. It's like a triangle in this one section. Um, cool, so what I'm doing is I'm doing the 3D Sweetheart braid. This one is a lap one. It's otherwise known as a 3D pull through braid. You'll see it creates a lot of texture, a lot of volume. It's one of my favorites. Okay, so we have our three is all split up. And now this is the one that was our two. So this is what split into two and the middle went in there. The next thing we're gonna do with this is this is now gonna turn into a three. So we're gonna split this into the three even sections again. And it's okay, some of the hair is gonna be on both sides of that middle section, that's totally okay. Again, we're gonna hold that middle piece up and out of the way. And then I'm going to split my next section. Let me turn her head down a little bit for you. I'm going to split this next section in half. And then this piece, this middle piece from the section before is gonna go right through that half. I'm gonna leave the piece I just worked with in the front there. And then I am going to make my next section. Grab some hair here. And I wanna make sure that this hair stays out of the way until I get my elastic in. 
tell Lex about beta. Oh my gosh. So someone, um, someone asked something, I suppose, about wanting braid babes in their area. So we actually have a new program now where you can launch braid babes in your area. So if you've been looking at this for a really long time and you're like, oh my God, I want to braid. I want to make money from braiding. You actually can register, take our boot camp. You'll learn how to do this braid and a ton of other braids. And then you'll be able to get a braid babes kit and sign up for our braider program where you can start braiding in your area. We take care of all of the extras for you. So the beta program comes with, you get customer service, you get new trainings, you get a whole community that you can ask questions and so much other stuff. Beta comes with a ton of stuff, but um, all you have to worry about is the braiding. So we take care of like the client aspect for you of if they have questions, if they need to reschedule, anything like that, so that you can worry about just the braiding. And if you're interested in that, you can go to braidwaves.com slash beta and find out a little bit more. We did just have a webinar all about beta, but if this sounds really cool to you, your first step would actually be signing up for our bootcamp where you can learn all of these braids. And our next bootcamp is January 1st. So if you're thinking about doing it, go ahead and check that out at our website. You'll see all about signing up for the next bootcamp and then from there, you'll be able to join Beta if you want to bring braid waves to your city, which is a lot of fun. I love braiding. And it's really fun to do for others, create really cool different braid styles. That's what I love about like why I picked doing this. This is going to be like a different style. I've never done the 3D Sweetheart this way. I've only done it as like an all up. But I was thinking before I started this live today, I'm like, oh my god, I really want to try that. So I thought this would be a fun time to check it out. Okay, so what I have so far, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys check it out. So this is what I got so far. I'm lifting her whole stand up. I guess that's sort of dramatic. Here she is. It's her little braid so far. I have the choice of stopping right here and letting it hang down the back or doing a bun or continuing the braid on. I'm going to start the braid on the other side and then in the comments you guys can tell me if you like this look, if you want to see a bun in the back, if you want to see the braid go further down on each side, you can tell me while I do the next side of the braid. Yes, it's a 3D pull through and it's like a little princess style. I wanted, I wanted this one on myself for a little bit so I thought that this might be, oh I wonder if you guys could see this. I'm going to try and do something like this for this side with you guys so that hopefully you can see what I'm up to a little bit easier. Hold on, I'm gonna get her hair sectioned right for you guys so we can just get into the braiding. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna just throw this here for a second. This is how I always do all my sectioning. I get my first section, then I take all of the rest of the hair, and then that first section I'm ultimately going to undo so that that's the hair that I can use. Look at that, my tree's twinkling for you guys. I thought it would be cute on me too. I'm a little, I don't know how it would look on me though with the bang, like it would start a little bit back, so I don't know, might be cute. I do have enough hair for it. I just wonder if my layers would be a little funny with it. Your hair could maybe do it, Em. I don't know. It's getting longer. It's getting thicker. All right. So I'm about to do the next. I want to tilt her back. To, yeah, like that. That's probably good for you guys. Oh. Oh, I yanked her head off of here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let me make sure I got enough elastics. I'm going to put a couple more in my pocket here. Cool. So again, to start this one, we're on the second side. If you missed the first one, perfect time to get out your hair tie. All you need for this braid is literally a couple hair ties. I like using these small clear ones. Okay, then we got our first section in there. I like to like pull at the top section a little bit to get a little bit of volume started just for the braid. And I'm using the section sizing from the other side of the head. So here is where the second section is. I'm gonna sort of pull that up and off to the side and then this is going to be my second elastic. 
And remember, at first, you, you don't have to worry about anything other than getting your two elastics in. Once you get this one in, all right, got that elastic in. So next, this is like really the repetitive part of this braid here. I'll back up a little bit in case you guys have the chat open. Okay, so this first piece, we're gonna split it into three. Her hair is a little wild on this side here. She had a bow bun in right before this. Okay, so your first section split into three. I'm just holding the middle section. That's how I'm keeping it all separated. And then the second section, I am breaking into two. And then that middle piece is gonna go right in the middle of that second section. So here's the middle piece. Boom, right in the middle of that second section. And then this is the whole second section. I'm holding it up in there and I'm gonna put it off to the side. I'm gonna put it in the front because my next thing I'm going to do is take that hair that just got down there and make a new section. I'm gonna look across. I see my section goes about there. And I am going to do another elastic right there. Sometimes when you do these, you wanna make sure your elastics are pulled decently tight, especially if you're on a mannequin, they can like, the hair is so like soft that you wanna make sure that it doesn't like pull away from the head too much, especially since this braid is already so volumey. Um, I'm gonna pancake, eh, I'll wait to pancake so you guys can see a little bit better. Normally I would pancake right here, but I want you guys to really see how I'm doing it, so I'll wait a minute. Okay, so again, this was a two strand that's what we see it was last time. So what are we gonna do this time? We're gonna turn it into a three strand. So now we're going to make our three sections. And then with that, we're gonna take the bottom section, break it into two and stick that one section right through the middle. Then that two section is coming up here. So it's out of our way. You can even use a clip for something like this to keep the hair out of the way. And then this is gonna be my last on the scalp section. And then you guys will have to tell me if you wanna see a bun, if you want me to continue the look, or if you think it looks really cute like it is. Once I get the rest of her hair down, I'll let you guys vote. E. Okay. So, because of this hair being so weirdly curled from that bun. It actually might look cute in another bun, but we'll see how it looks. Okay, so then this was a two strand last time. So then we want to separate it into a three strand again. And then again, the underneath one is gonna get separated into two, bringing that middle right through the middle, taking the two strand and pinning it off to the side so that it's not in our way. And then doing an elastic at the bottom here. Okay. Like I said, I normally would have, for this one, I normally would have pancaked all along, but I want to be able to show you guys the pancaking a little bit more. So I waited until the end here. Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna start pancaking this one and I'm, I'm just gonna do it a little bit smaller than some of them. You see this one starts off the smallest. So I'm pancaking a little bit. I'm gonna make sure it matches on each side. I like to pull it at just a little bit at a time. Then you can really get the shape you're looking for. Once I think that those are about even and I like the way they look, I'm gonna move down to the next one. And I'm just pulling at the very edges of the hair. I'm not pulling in the middle. I'm pulling at the edges, edges. And then if there's holes showing, I'll go in and sort of pull a little bit more there. And then I'm always pulling at this like sort of middle section last. Okay, again, we'll pull this one out. We can get this one a little bigger since we're getting towards the back here. Okay. So here's what we got so far. Woo! Let me take her off here and sort of show you guys. So that's super cute. And then we can decide what to do with the rest of her hair. I think because this one side is sort of wonky from having a bun in it, 
Normally, I think that would look really cute, just to have it stop there, but because this side is a little wonky from having a bun in it, I'm thinking either continue the braid or do a bun. Do you guys have any ideas? If I continue the braid, I'll probably continue it down here so that we got no more of the wonky hair. And if I do a bun, that could be cute too. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you have an idea or if you'd rather see one than the other, if you wanna see how to do a bun versus how to continue the braid. A bun, cool. I'd like to see a bun, cool. Let's do buns. Let's do, for this, this is honestly perfect. Let's do my favorite type of bun. I'm just grabbing a few bobby pins to have here so that I can grab those quick while I'm working. Okay, so because we already have, I'm honestly gonna start this on this side because this is the funky side. Because we already have sort of our two sections here. So this is where it ended is we got the one elastic piece here and this other one. This is per literally perfect for a twisty bun. So how you do a twisty bun is you take your two sections and you sort of start twisting them together. Make sure you're not pulling any of the extra hair there. So you're twisting them, twisting them, twisting them, twisting them. Then once you get towards the bottom here, I start going through my twists and pulling at the edges. So I'm pancaking my like rope twist. And you wanna do this from all the angles. So see, I just pulled mainly on this side, but this side over here is like pretty flat. So I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna pull it that side. I'm gonna pull on top. The side and the top is what I'm working on right now. And when you're doing this, you're gonna see that you have less and less hair down here, which is why it's important not to rope twist all the way to the bottom. Cause this is going to take up some of that hair length, really pulling it out here. And the more you pull it now, the better. It's okay if there's like, some people have little layers or something sticking out, that's okay. It's gonna add to it. This one is like a take on the messy bun almost, I, I feel. Okay. So you can make this as messy or like a little neater. My mannequin doesn't have like very much layering going on, so it's gonna be a little bit neater. And then what I'm gonna do is I like to start to like pin into place how I want this to sit. So, hmm, I'm thinking, let's see. I'm thinking I'm gonna pin it like here I might have these be a little bit more like down and back facing buns than perky like on the top of the head facing. I think that'll look a little bit better with the type of braid that this is. And then let's see, a couple more pins and this one should be good. So if you see, I sort of left the tail hanging there. That's to me what adds to like the messiness of doing this bun is like, if the hair is curly or if it goes the right length, it looks sort of cute just like coming into the rest of the style in that way. Okay, so that's just a cute little like back of the head little bun there. So that's how that one's sort of gonna look. So I'm going to, can you put the two together? Oh, I could have put the two together for sure. I didn't, but okay. So then on the other side, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna twist the two together. I'm trying to give you guys enough of a view there of it. I guess if I stand here, it's a little easier to see maybe. So then once you get those twisted, you're gonna again pancake and pull it all of those edges. Maybe I'll show you guys on this one like literally how big you can go like i can really pull at these like if you see this that's it's pretty crazy right there but you can really pull at these i want to show you that you can still get a really pretty bun out of this this might look kind of crazy to you right now but it's okay i feel like people get nervous with this one of pulling and that's what's going to get you your volume your texture like it's going to help you with the bun shape of the whole thing so let me find my Here's some, of, here's some of my bobby pins. Okay, got my bobby pins. And now I'm going to start just like twisting this around. I like to try twisting both ways. Like this one actually is twisting better the opposite way of the first one. And 
Once I have sort of a bun shape, I just sort of hold it with my hands and where I have like a thumb, I'll put in one of these bobby pins. So I know you maybe can't see super good what's going on right now. That's what's going on is I'm holding it there, bobby pinning it. Now I'm letting go of it. I'm seeing, okay, where could I pin down so that it matches the other side a little bit? So I'll turn here. So this side we see right now is a little bit bigger, which makes sense because I pancaked it a ton. So I'm going to go into a couple sections there, pin it things. You can pull at things afterwards too, but I really do find like the more that you pull at it to begin with, the better off you're gonna be, the more flexibility you sort of have with the whole style. And so the cool thing about the twisty bun is it's just a lot of twists. It looks sort of messy. See how there's like a little piece sticking out here? That looks like pretty cute. I'll show you this from the front. What I was like intending to do with these buns, yeah, you can kind of see from the side view. What I was intending to do with these buns is not have them sit super high on the top of her head. It's a little bit more of a classier look, especially like, let's say you're going somewhere for the holidays. It's not like the space buns directly on the top of your head, but it's like a variation of it. Will look really cute for like a night out with a dress, anything like that. There's an up close of the braid. A front view, I left hair down in front. You don't have to, you can use this and have, have it go back too. That's really all up to your preference. And this braid can be done as a single braid. It can be done as a double braid. It can be done with all of the hair. Super fun. So this was a 3D Sweetheart. If you have any questions on it, let me know. Otherwise I had a lot of fun showing you this braid today. And the messy buns, those are called twisty buns. That's what we like to call them. I hope that you learned some fun stuff today. Maybe try out these buns later when you get home. You could do them with just a ponytail too. So if the braid is a little too hard for you, feel free to just try a ponytail and the twisty buns. Talk to you guys later.